Guys, it's Jan from Intel's Academy. In today's video, I'm going to go on LinkedIn and we're going to talk about the LinkedIn lead generation strategy that doesn't include any content produced by yourself. So the content we're going to use is the engagement. We're going to try to comment or something like that on other people's profiles. So we're, we're, we're going to go through this, but I want to kind of preface this discussion. First of all, this quick video. Uh, uh, with my two thoughts. First of all, you can either produce your content, which many people do on LinkedIn, but over 95% of people on LinkedIn are just very passive. Or you can engage with the content, which can be possible, but most engagement on content is uh, done by the same people all over again. Like the same people who are very active engage between each other, but the guys who are not active don't really engage. So what we are looking at we need to find the profiles who match your ideal customer profile, who match my ideal customer profile. Uh, you need to kind of build up your profile as well to do this. And we're going to look for some hashtags. So let's just do this. This is my profile. You can see I have a name. I have my headline. Uh, I have a pretty good uh, mention here. And we're looking for hashtags which are kind of popular for our target audience. So. Let's imagine I am targeting CMOs. I'm targeting um, people who are in charge of account-based marketing. So hashtag ABM would be really cool to, to go after, but it might be overcrowded. Hashtag, hashtag marketing, hashtag lead generation, anything like that. Let's try hashtag B2B lead, B2B leads. Let's just try that. I have, n I don't know what's, what am I going to expect? So this guy, since this person is probably looking, um, he, he's doing a lead gen as well. And you can see a lot of people who are doing lead gen on LinkedIn and not many people who are actually my target audience. So this hashtag is not ideal. <laughs> Let's switch to CMO. This will be a very kind of weird, uh, Weird thing, you can see CMOs, they have 182 followers and we're not trying to engage with content like this posted by the page. We need to engage with people. However, you can also look at this guy. This guy is just trying to uh, basically promote himself, right? Who makes a bold chief marketing person, right? There's nothing here. We need to find out something where there's where a person has a really low engagement, meaning there's a few comments or likes on the post, but a person is expressing their opinion and they fit the profile. So that way we can comment something insightful. You can see this is again promotion, not really cool. Given the rate. Now, this is something interesting, but this person, I need to check them out because he's saying he's actually including um, uh, his own opinion or some some research study is he a cmo or does he uh does he work on something else okay so he he is training marketing teams got it so he's not my ideal customer right cmo is a service not my ideal customer let's move on when i was in brand management and providing services to brands like ogilvy I struggle with conference and I run back to the, this is pretty cool, but is he, is he actually a CMO? You see, so always you, I need to check this out. Uh, and I'm going to leave him some comment or something if he is. Uh, let's try this. Okay. So he's a CEO and Refrain is an early stage employee experience software as a service platform that personalizes the workplace. That's perfect. So this person is not a CMO. He has a CMO background probably. Yes, audio -y. So he's in marketing, but he's a founder. Not bad. That's pretty cool. So let's just look into the company just because it's a SaaS platform for employees. That's okay. Let's engage with him. So he's posting a content on YouTube. And they are going to have a summit. When I, and he's expressing his 
uh, past experience, which is ideal, so that you can relate your comment to it. So he's saying, when I was in brand management, providing services to brands at Ogilvy, struggled with conferences and summits focused on rear view mirror thinking. Run back to the office and pitch a plan during the annual play planning cycle. Very few playbooks presented were forward-looking, layered with complexity, did not reflect the new marketplace and not scalable. For CMOs, brands and agencies and marketplace practitioners looking to modernize their marketplace approach, get innovative thinking with forward-looking playbooks, click to learn more, join us at Refresh Change Summit. You see, now I'm a bit skeptical about this, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to just give him a like. <laughs> I'm not going to comment on his video. But for example, this person, my video series on branded immersive experience continues with Spice Caps Museum in New York. Okay. That's really interesting, actually. But I think it's not ideal, my ideal client. Uh, this person is, you see, he has a very low engagement and this person is the owner of JP Arms and Partners, co-author on Unified Funnel Metrics. So this person is either a consultant or a freaking uh, CMO. We'll see. JP Arms and Partners, industrial marketing pr pursues customers like prey rather than people. No, you see, so this is, this is not an easy thing. It takes a couple of minutes to find those guys. Uh, But I believe we will. So guys, stick around. Don't worry. We will do this. Everybody, you can see on LinkedIn, everybody just want to promote themselves. There's nothing here that is kind of unique. You see everybody is trying to sell to marketers using CMO hashtag. So we, we at least found something. Using CMO hashtag, everybody is trying to sell to marketers but look at this philip guy he is saying he has an opinion here he's trying to get a discussion going and he's a digital agency founder okay so digital agencies i have a company that does uh, lead generation for digital agencies so i am going to engage with him even though this is not a cmo who i would love to engage with uh, for the other company but let's do it so he's saying Marketing is a strategic. CMOs have little to contribute at board level and only 2% of board members have any marketing experience. Consultancies have multiple entries at board level and have access and ability to contribute to a strategic discussion beyond the marketing agency. Responding to the threat with a road, they don't get creative, just sounds weak. Do they even need to? Clients can bring the creative in-house, outsource the rest, and the consultancies can buy any creative they want. Is this what the future looks like? So here, I would just say, you can see that he he's responding to each uh, comment. Now, what's my goal is to have a comment where he checks me out and probably adds me to his network. You can see all the comments are not very strategic. This one is super s small comment, this one, uh this one is really good this one gives a lot of insights but not many people on linkedin actually comment like that so let's leave something big so what he's saying marketing isn't strategic that's his premise uh so i'd say couldn't agree more that's that's because i agree with that um now responding to threat with do they even need to clients can bring the creative in-house outsource the rest and the consultancies can buy and create any creative they want. Is this what the future looks like? Uh, let's start a discussion. So I guess there are three options. Uh, you can either, as a client, as a client, you can either build your own in-house team uh outsource uh your marketing to an agency or use an outsourced cmo 
or something like that to replace uh, or hire, I would say not use, or hire an outsourced CMO uh, to help out. Which one do you think is the future? Because he's asking that. I don't know. So uh, the consultancy is outsourced the rest. Clients can bring creatives in-house. Uh, as a client, you can either build your own in-house team, outsource your market to an agency like yourself, like yours, or hire an outsourced CMO to help out with this setup. Uh, which one do you think is the future? Uh, will brands uh, rely on building their own creative teams in-house? Or is there going to be more agencies opening up everywhere? everywhere. Building. Okay, got it. We have got a solid comment. We'll see. Probably he's going to respond. I don't know if this is the best comment I could ever write. I'm just doing it for you guys. But let's just leave him this comment. More agencies. Uh, let's just leave this comment. We'll see. We'll see. You never know. Maybe it's not very insightful. You never know. Now, I have a comment. So he definitely. Check me out. I I 100% believe this. Uh, let's run a new hashtag. Now let's run a hashtag with content marketing. See, this is fun, guys. I, I'm having fun right now. This is what I live for. This guy's saying F content marketing. I know Brandon. I don't know him, but I have him on LinkedIn. You see, he produces a ton of content. Well, you don't need to engage with the guy like that. Um, you see this person, marketing expert. Now this is really interesting. So who's this? Who is this person? <laughs> so she is an accomplished brand marketing and business leader. All right, so is she in charge of an agency or not? Expertise in strategic business planning and foundational marketing, especially for early stage companies. Okay. Uh, she used to be a VP of marketing. Okay, so they are a service provider, but she used to be a, uh, a marketing, but now she's a freelancer. Not ideal, but she's doing helping in search for an experienced communication manager to run PR for a super fast paced and category leading food tech startup. Includes directing a, and collaborating with an external agency team reports to the head of marketing. Now, this is kind of ideal for me because we're I'm engaged with an agency right now that does a lot of PR and content, and she only has one like. I'm going to like this, and I'm going to say, hey, Carly, uh, category leading food tech startups. So she's working with startups. Uh, uh, includes directing and collaborating with an external agency team reports into head of branding tag or DM me or leads own interest. Hey, Carly, let's, let's just, um, create some sort of, well, I can say that, Hey, book a time on my Calendly, which is kind of a pointless. I would just say, uh, to run PR for a super fast paced kind of, but PR means a lot of things, right? So we need to figure that out. Uh, so I would just say this looks super interesting. Uh, I'd love to chat more about this. Uh, if you, if you're uh, up for it, feel free to book, <laughs> book some time on my calendar. Or perhaps reach out to me. At... So this is a hot lead, right? Uh, 
uh, Fortune 100 brands. So oh, now I need to give her my calendar, which is this thing, and we'll just do that. This is how it is. Right here. Got it. Oh, leave a post. You see, this was a very hot lead. I couldn't really just leave her a comment. But she's, for example, this person, as a content writer, what are the difficulties you have come across during your writing experience? I don't want to engage with that because this person is just in the digital kind of marketing. This person calling all content marketing agencies to pitch for a live brief, live client brief, shortlist agencies to present as CMS. No. Today, we'll be supplying our clients with the following professionally. Okay, who is better at crisis management? No. Now, we found something. Look at this. This guy is a VP of marketing. Beautiful aesthetics. This is a medical device company. This cannot be better. <laughs> medical device company looking to hire a dynamic individual to their marketing team. Growing fast-paced company with a great culture. Email me directly for more details. He has nine likes. Uh, as a critical leader on the marketing team, this person will collaborate regularly with professional and global marketing colleagues, as well as the sales and service teams. This person should be comfortable being both a strategic and tactician as the role will require high level thinking. This person will have agency and team resources to thrive in a business environment that is mostly driven by B2B lead generation tactics. This is beautiful, right? Now, I know he's hiring, but he's dropping some, some nuggets here. So let's just say, hey, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Uh, uh, I need to find out more about his company uh, to kind of preface this. I think if they are really in the medical device field, then this would be perfect. Lumenis, aesthetics. How big is this company? A huge company. Energy to healthcare. I think these guys, aesthetics, I think they, yeah, medical devices. It's a global read or, yeah. And so would, would we, I mean, I'm going to just check the website, right? I'm doing this is because this these leads are high value. These are not like SaaS leads. We need to kind of dig through what kind of content are they doing right now? You can see they do a lot of content. Tips and resources. Corporate video. So there's they have a bunch of stuff going on. Hey Kevin. Uh You can see there's a bunch of content on their website. Let's just read news and PR. <laughs> Not many news and PR, but we can see they, they do a lot of content, right? So I wouldn't say it's it's strategic, maybe though. Hey, Kevin, uh, great to know that medical device company supports their sales team with with content with content assets you see i have to sp speak the, the, this enterprise level um, english <laughs> with content assets to improve uh, to generate more leads uh, in the Americas, you guys, uh, since you've mentioned mentioned that person will work with an agency, you guys engaged in multiple uh, in, he's saying in the, in the Americas, right? And that's the region. Are you guys 
using multiple partners in the Americas region. Uh, maybe I can end it like that because the big advantage is that we have a remote team, right? That can cover all this, um, all this market. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, maybe multiple, are you guys using with an agency? Since you've mentioned that the person will work with an agency, that this, this person will work with an agency. Are you using multiple partners globally? Uh, since they'll report to the global marketing team or local. Oh no, this, this doesn't make sense. Let's just say, are you using multiple partners globally uh, in each market? Are you using local agencies, agencies in each market or prefer one globally? One that can cover a global market. I don't know. Does that make sense, guys? I have no idea. So, hey, Kevin, great to know that a medical device company supports their sales team with content assets to generate more leads. Uh, uh, since you've mentioned that this person, this hiree, is that how you spell it, hiree? This individual, I would say, will work with an agency. Are you using local agencies in each market or prefer one that can cover global, that can cover your global presence. Or prefer one that can cover your market globally. Let's do this globally. Uh, yeah, let's just post this. I liked it. Hey, we'll see what happens. It was posted one hour ago. You never know. You know, I'm, I know this is not like really I'm not, I'm not, I'm trying to a bit pitch him, but I'm just getting everything from the text that he's posting there, right? Because it's again, somebody who's hiring. So that's the idea, guys. Leave those comments. You'll get messages. You will get engagement. People will check you out. People will add you to their LinkedIn network. And then you can add them. You have a lead. You communicate, nurture them and get the call. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. I know this was exhausting. So thanks and let's stay in touch.